good to be here. This is so exciting. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. Yeah, which means something bad's about to happen. Yeah, I've been reading fairy tales to my niece lately. She wanted me to read her Cinderella, and I'm not around little kids that often, so I was treating it like book club, you know? Read the book and then discuss. At the end of the story, I was like, oh, what'd you think? She was like, oh, I liked Cinderella. And I was like, oh, that's so weird. I hated her. <laughs> Cinderella was a pretty good housekeeper, but kind of ungrateful to the stepmother that took her in. She was always complaining, a whiny brat if you ask me, complaining about the fact that she had to clean. I mean, come on, this nice lady put her roof up over your head, so suck it up, Cinderella, and make the bed. Suck it up, Cinderella, make the bed. Well, despite her attitude, she gets invited to a party where she starts hitting on the hottest guy around. Then she gets drunk and starts acting like a stripper. She loses track of time, stumbles down the stairs, loses her glass slipper. Drunk people lose shoes, drunk people lose shoes. Sober people never do. Drunk people lose shoes, drunk people lose shoes. Sober people never do. Let's look at the moral of the story that we learned from Cinderella. If you're a whiny little floozy, goes to parties and gets boozy, you'll attract the wrong guy who might be rich, but that's a foot fetish. Cause if you think about the prince, he likes to make girls try on shoes, try on shoes. <laughs> Let's look at the moral of the story that we've learned from this song. Drunk people lose shoes, drunk people lose shoes. Sober people never do, do, do. Drunk people lose shoes, drunk people lose shoes. Sober people never do. Big finish, strong people lose shoes. Cinderella now. Oh. Silver people never do.